Thank you, Guy, for the introduction. Hi, I'm Sanjay Patel, Senior Vice President of Takeda Business Solutions. And today, it's my pleasure to be here for the UiPath Reboot Work Festival to talk about our digital transformation journey in Takeda Business Solutions. A little bit about our company. Takeda is a global values-based R&D-driven biopharmaceutical leader, and we are managed by our values around Takedaism, which focuses on integrity, fairness, honesty, and perseverance. And we are focused on our values around patient, trust, reputation, and developing the business. As a company, our three or four key focus areas are oncology, rare diseases, neuroscience, and gastroenterology. And we also have targeted investments in plasma-derived therapies and vaccines. In 2019, we had a large acquisition of a company called Shire, which has now made us into a top 10 global pharmaceutical company that has presence across 80 countries globally with over 50,000 employees in the company. A little about Takeda Business Services, the organization that I'm leading. Our journey started in 2019 in July. We determined that for TBS to be an effective business partner, we needed to be seen more than just a service organization, a business partner that offers solutions beyond just services, a business partner that integrates and automates both the front and the back office with a clear focus on our business and our customers. Mr. Andrew, welcome to Takeda's first artificial intelligence finance team. We would like to ask you a few questions. Okay. Hi, I'm Avaba, your digital TBS assistant. Hi. You look tired. Are you still thinking about the agreement with IQVIA? Yes. How soon do you need it? Well, for yesterday. Let me help you with your agreement. Leave it to me. I have read your 32-page agreement and compared it to the 54,140 pages I have read in previous agreements. I have executed 1,808 steps. I have sent this out for signature. Don't worry, I have done this successfully over 6,629 times. What are you up to? I am just talking with 20 of your business partners to tell them where we are. People do like to be updated regarding any of the 56,591 contracts I oversee. Aren't you tired? Should I be? We have been on a journey to reimagine, rethink, and recreate a best in class Takeda Business Solutions with a clear focus on an organization that is building and delivering simplified and innovative solutions. And let me share a little bit about our vision and operating model. In TBS, we are governed and managed by our vision of finance to be a best-in-class organization, which is focused on partnering to deliver insights and drive value for our patients. And let me share a short video to bring to life what TBS does in Takeda and what is our operating model and our four key areas of focus. At Takeda Business Solutions, we're building and delivering simplified and innovative solutions beyond just services. We partner with the business to optimize global end-to-end -end processes reaching all employees using the latest technology and innovation. We create value by freeing up colleagues' time, allowing them to focus on their day-to-day -day activities and better serve our patients. Our vision is focused around five priorities putting the patient at the heart of everything we do, achieving best-in-class solutions driven by continuous improvement, delivering solutions that are agile at scale, unlocking next-generation capabilities, leveraging technology and innovation, and driving value as a trusted business partner. We have thoughtfully consolidated our global footprint to allow for scale and to better partner with the business locally while leveraging TBS innovation and agile ways of working. 
we have established a global network of core hubs and delivery centers to better anticipate needs and operate in a seamless, collaborative way to maximize value. Everyone in the team has an important role to play to bring our vision to life, and we're closely connected with our stakeholders to reach our common goals. Our operating model allows us to build our own solutions with in-house knowledge and capabilities. And we're guided by four key enablers that will accelerate our journey towards becoming a best-in-class organization. Digital innovation for seamless end-to-end -end processes, a data-centric focus to generate insights and value, an enhanced and simplified people-centric experience, and an agile and diverse workforce with a global talent pool. By doing what we do with excellence, we'll be able to reach our vision, contribute to Takeda's mission, and maintain a sharper focus on the patient. Our shared sense of purpose. We are measuring our success against four key imperatives. Digital innovation, data-centric focus, having an end-user focus on how we deliver our solutions, and building an agile and diverse team. Now, let me share some examples on each of these. In the area of digital innovation, we are accelerating our digital transformation ambition as part of Takeda's focus on driving and delivering power of digital and data to the enterprise. And we have recently entered in a partnership with Accenture and with AWS to leverage cloud and data-driven insights to really accelerate our drug development, increase operational agility, reduce the cost of technology, and also develop the workforce of the future. And in TBS, we are also driving a digital innovation and an organization with digital champions that is supported by our intelligent automation team. This team and this strategy in TBS is governed through a robust model uh, of steering board that's overseeing and governing our end-to-end -end digital delivery of TBS's digital strategy, as well as ensuring that we are investing in the right technology to support our ambition. We are supported and, and we are leveraging a best of breed digital framework and ecosystem that's supporting our entire kind of operating framework across our service management, core business processes, in the area of process excellence innovation, and also analytics and performance management. And UiPath is one of those key kind of enablers of our digital champion uh, strategy in, in TBS and in Takeda. We are empowering our colleagues to really kind of be empowered to challenge the status quo by enabling them with the tools that they need to really embrace technology, embrace automation, and become those digital champions that can help us drive efficiency and effectiveness of our processes and also enable us to focus on real kind of high value activities. We have provided our Ninja program, which is what we call our automation kind of branding here, uh, to really enable and build the next generation capabilities that's enabling our organization to expand their automation skills, empower our teams to identify opportunities where they can apply robotic process automation. They are also acting as our change agents once they go through this program. And we're also looking at how do we scale some of these automation benefits across the enterprise and really help kind of uplift this capability within the organization as part of our next generation capability built within the organization. And the results so far have been astounding. This whole Ninja program started with a, a concept that, we've, that was inspired by our company's Japanese roots. It's a five week immersive program where we take our, our talent, our colleagues through a journey of enlightenment where they are exposed to what an automation project could look like. 
They are spending some time getting certified using the uh, UiPath Academy, uh, tools like Studio X, RPA Starter. And then also they come up with an idea within their own area, which is where they can apply a RPA and then can simplify their work. And I'll share some examples of, of those uh, in a couple of minutes. Now, the results so far of this uh, Ninja program that we've implemented in TBS, in Takeda, is we've got 18 locations where we have now built a network of digital champions. There are 108 and counting uh, uh, certified ninjas in, uh, in, in Takeda Business Solutions and in finance. Uh, and we actually graduated another 23 yesterday. We have another 59 uh, that are graduating next week. So we'll be close to 200 by, uh, by end of next week. These team members have submitted over 200 ideas for automation, of which we have already built 140 bots, which are now being leveraged. And this is delivering thousands of hours of capacity and productivity, which the teams are now using to kind of focus on the higher value work that really kind of is what we should be focusing on. So this is a great program, which has really helped us build a, a network of digital champions that are now empowered to really reimagine our future. And, and really shine and bring the best of technology to, to fruition within our organization and our processes. Now let me share an example uh, of uh, one of these ideas. So this is a bot uh, which was developed by one of our ninjas in, uh, uh, in Taiwan. And uh, this is a bot that was uh, built to speed up our management of our back order processing. As you will see on the, on the, up, uh, uh, the screen on the upper part and the bottom part, the, before we did the automation, the process took around 20 minutes. And now with the use of UiPath RPA uh, solution, it's taking about a minute, six seconds. So we've improved the productivity by 95% in this area. The process is now error-free. It helps us maintain a better reputation with our customer base. And this, this is a solution that can now be scaled across multiple entities where this process is being applied. So again, it was an investment made in one location, but now the benefits will be felt across the, uh, the various Takeda locations where uh, teams are managing the back order process. And this is a daily process that this individual, Dylan Fu, uh, was running in his area. And there are many more examples like these uh, where we have really kind of driven this uh, uh, championing of, of automation within our organization. Now let me kind of switch focus to the area of data and insight. So this is the second area which we of our imperative where we are leveraging our enterprise data governance to really identify uh, data sets that can be leveraged, that can be kind of joined and drive our insights for the business. We have this uh, application that we have built uh, in-house called Cephonia Pocket. It was built by, by the organized by finance for the use of the finance community and our stakeholder group, uh, where it provides us with real-time uh, actionable financial and management reporting. It has enhanced kind of visualization as well as provides practical business insights and ad hoc uh, analysis. Uh, and, and, and we recently also won an award in this area with the Shared Services and Outsourcing Network, where they, uh, they recognized this tool for the process improvement and value creation that was driving the business. Uh, and we got the Impact Award for this uh, recently. We're also looking at other areas of enhancing the data quality around independent bank data verification, advanced data quality platform that kind of highlights data quality issues before they actually happen. So we can ensure the data quality is maintained and, and the integrity of the data, which then drives the insights uh, that we get from CFO near pocket uh, like tools. The other areas are on people centric experience. So again, we're very much focused on driving a seamless experience for our business uh, at, at the end of the day and for the users. So we have deployed tools like one stop shop, which is a, a portal where Employees can go in and ask for everyday questions in the way they think, and, uh, and those answers are provided to them, whether how do I approve an invoice, or how do I submit an expense report, or how do I create a new vendor. Uh, and we are all this, as part of the, the acquisition we did, there's a lot of integration effort happening around uh, making sure that we've got one uh, enterprise platform uh, for our, uh, like SAP, uh, using tools like Blackline for our uh, reconciliation and, uh, and, and fast close uh, uh, initiatives. Uh, and at the same time, as, as you saw in the video, uh, we also have locations which are uh, for TBS, which are close to the business. So uh, we believe that for us to be successful as a business partner, we need to be close to the business. So we have locations like Japan, China, Russia, Brazil, China, Poland, uh, and Exton in the US, uh, as well as Dublin, where we have our presence and, and the teams are based close to the business. 
While we're doing all of this, we also want to make sure that we are focused on building and attracting the right kind of talent uh, base. So we have launched a very unique value proposition for, for prospective kind of employees that want to be part of our organization. So our talent branding is, is focused more on in, uh, attracting people who are really inspired by the, the values of our company. It's why we exist. So, so things like we, we, we talk about, you know, people who work in our organization are inspired by patients. Uh, and also, how can they reimagine their future? So we've done some uh, career webinars recently, given in a COVID environment, we cannot do career affairs. So we are leveraging platforms like LinkedIn to perform career webinars where we are attracting uh, talent. And again, uh, we were in two sessions recently where we had a, a, a pretty good response of about 200 people participating, of which we've had about 37 that have come back and applied for jobs, citing that uh, the career webinar really enticed them to encourage them uh, to come and apply for roles within our organization. And once people are, uh, the colleagues join our organization and those who are part of our organization, we continue to focus on making sure that they have a rich and enriching kind of career uh, uh, within, within our organization by exposing them to the digital uh, technologies so they can be skilled with the new uh, uh, and best in class kind of tools. Uh, we expose them to process excellence and continuous innovation. Uh, relationship management is part of our business partnering, as well as uh, making sure uh, that they can be effective in the roles they perform and they have career progression as well. Uh, as part of our organization, we have made some commitments to our enterprise and those commitments are on the right that you see. It's around, we, we're an organization that's focused on delivering value beyond just the cost efficiency. We also focus on improving and simplifying our processes as part of our end user and people centric experience and also leveraging da data to really drive better insights and while we're doing this, you know, we remain true to the principles uh, of, of our and the values of our company, which is around patient, trust, reputation, and business. And you've seen in our, in our vision uh, that the patient is at the heart of everything we do. And one of the things that we have done within our organization is to really ensure that every employee that's part of my organization has a clear line of sight to the patient. And the way we do that is to kind of encourage them to understand how the work that they do every day in, in the company has an impact, a direct or even an indirect impact to the uh, ability to deliver medicines to the patient. And by doing this, it really allows us to create that sense of purpose and a sense of belonging to the enterprise and to the organization. It also encourages our teams to kind of go that extra mile to really make sure that we do a, a really good job in ensuring that our business kind of runs smoothly so that the business can continue to support the patient needs, uh, which is uh, what we are focused on as part of our better health, brighter future uh, uh, vision uh, of the organization. With that, I want to thank you for your time and, uh, and your attention, and I wish you all a good day. Thank you.